Excel 365 has two new brand new functions. These functions are the take function and drop function. What these functions do is that they take a specific part of an array by either taking a specific number of rows or dropping a specific number of rows or columns from an array. Let us see how we can use them in Microsoft Excel. We have this data set here, employee name, department and salary. Let us take the example of take function first. So what the take function does is that we have to input as input an array then it allows us to take a specific number of rows from an array let's type 3 here number of rows hit enter on the keyboard you can see the result here the take function takes these three rows these are the first three rows from this array from this entire array and returns them as a separate array this array is dynamic if there is any change in the source data in the source array that change will be reflected in this array now we can also instead of positive number of rows we can also input a negative number of rows if we type nine minus three here instead of three guess the result the result in this case will be last three rows. The take function will return the last three rows from the source array. Let's type, let's hit enter on the keyboard. Check the result. The result is these three arrays. So these are the arrays which are returned here. So remember that a positive number for the number of rows returns the first contiguous number of rows and a negative number returns the last specific number of rows so this is the take function now let's check what the drop function can do for us let's use the drop function array will be the same let's first go with three here for rows hit enter on the keyboard in this case the drop function drops the first three rows from the array and returns the remaining array. So this is the array which is returned here. When we enter three for the rows, that means the drop function drops these three rows from the array and returns the rest of the array. In the same way, if we use a minus three here, in that case, the drop function will drop the last three rows from the array and return the rest of the array for us. Let's hit enter on the keyboard. In this case, the result is first three rows because the last three rows from this array have been excluded. So this is how we can use the take and drop function in Microsoft Excel. So I hope this video was helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Keep supporting, subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.